Brother Jim reporting here from Red State Watcher. We have three m more pieces of news. It's early here in California, about 8.45 a.m. How y'all doing? Well, we have, look who will host Trump's post-election special. Yeah, bad news. On Tuesday, CNN will air a post-election special titled The Messy Truth, hosted by liberal political commentator Libertard Van Jones. Now, th what this is going to do, this is just going to, this is like CNN saying, we're going to put all, all of our money down and we're going for broke. Double down, double down, double down. Every day they're doubling down. And, and they're taking hit after hit after hit. So they, I guess they want another hit because the prophecy is you go against Donald Trump. And so they're going to take their one of the worst vile liars, Van Jones, who spews out a bunch of lies about Donald Trump all the time to go in for another hit on Donald Trump. And they're going to take another hit and they're going to lose more and more subscribers as well. The Hill reported Jones, who briefly worked for the Obama administration and has been an outspoken critic of President-elect Donald Trump, will explore how voters are feeling about the unprecedented election. Just keep up this resistance. Just keep it up. Keep up the, the libertard movement of the Republican billionaire, according to the network. The live one-hour special from New York will include progressive filmmaker Michael Moore. Ugh. That's disgusting. Former GOP presidential candidate Rick Santorum and Anna Navarro, an anti-Trump Republican strategist and CNN contributor. Notice that they're all leftists, far left. Taped interviews Jones conducted with supporters of Trump in Ohio will also be featured. Jones was in the spotlight recently following his post-election comments, stating the outcome was a white lash against a changing country and a white lash against a black president. And we see here the report here. There's a picture of Van Jones, when you, in case you don't know what he looks like. Spews out a bunch of lies, you know. He's trying to act like uh, he, uh, Donald Trump is a racist, a bigot, and a, you know, the same old libertard stuff. Uh, but he goes at it at a very high level, okay? Uh, making it sound like the black people are being persecuted and, and continue to have racism in this country, which is the opposite of what Donald Trump stands for, and it's exactly what Obama stood for. That's why the country turned into what it was. But this man who pretends to, uh, so, uh, pretends to what do you call, uh, support all those poor black people that are being persecuted in his eyes, is a very wealthy black man with highly educated, He's a papal puppet. Moving on to the next story, we have breaking news. Another libertard moment makes unthinkable statement about Ben Carson's appointment. Yes, Pelosi strikes again. And so we already know that Pelosi, uh, I think she's uh, of the House. She's been reelected as the, of the House chairman or something like that. Um, Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi. She's the Democratic leader now, I think, of the House. But for the Democrats, um, we already know that she is a total fail. And Kellyanne Conway uh, said, well, it looks like the Democrats didn't learn anything when they brought her back in. That's And she's right on. Okay. So here she is stabbing her own self in the back once again. Okay. So she's going to try and and put down Ben Carson, who's, who's considered to be the best brain surgeon in the world, one of the smartest men, highly educated and highly in everything. There's not a thing wrong with him. This is coming from the same person who believes America doesn't want change. <laughs> Pelosi, she admitted that America doesn't want change, but here she is back, like just like a devil does, one day, you know, the flesh, one, one day the the devil speaks the next day the devil's quiet within her that's what that's what possessed people do plus the statement on nomination of dr ben carson for secretary of hud Washington, D.C. Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi released the following statement on President-elect Trump's nomination of Dr. Ben Carson for Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. 
Dr. Ben Carson is a disconcerting and disturbingly unqualified choice to lead a department as complex and consequential as housing and urban development. Our country deserves a HUD secretary with the relevant experience to protect the rights of homeowners and renters, particularly in low-income and minority communities, and to ensure that everyone in our country can have access to safe and affordable housing without facing discrimination or homelessness. Let's see. It was Ben Carson that was raised up in an extreme low housing district, extremely poor, without a father. He doesn't know anything about this stuff. And yet he became a world-renowned brain surgeon and, and uh, neurosurgeon, considered to be the best in the world. And you want to tell us the complete opposite? This shows you how you're literally destroying the DNC. And you know why? Because God is destroying the DNC. He's destroying it from within. And you are part of what God is doing, Nancy Pelosi. You see, in Romans 9, it tells you that who can resist his will? Not even the devils. Not even those. When God wants to do something, he's going to do it. He uses the evil. He used Pharaoh. He used whatever he wants. There is no evidence that Dr. Carson brings the necessary credentials to hold a position with such immense responsibilities and impact on families and communities across America. Boy, she made a, a retarded statement. This is why Pelosi should have zero credibility. So after losing the presidency, the House and Senate, delusional Nancy Pelosi tells John Dickerson she does not think the American people want a new direction. She is the ultimate example of out of touch. But I suppose Donald Trump supporters should thank her for being so incompetent. <laughs> Dickerson, the Democratic Party, is in a moment of questioning about its identity. You were re-elected to lead the Democrats in the House. What do you tell Democrats who want a new direction and then go to you? What are you going to do differently? Pelosi said, well, I don't think people want a new direction. Our values unify us, and our values are about supporting America working families. This was the other day. That's one that everyone is in agreement on. What we want is a better connection of our message to working families in our country. And that clearly in the election showed that the message wasn't coming through. Really? Is that why Donald Trump's going to lower the tax for those who are married, married filing joint with kids to 35% less tax? Proven fact. I already did the video this morning. Really? Yes, it is true that America does want better for the families. That's why they got rid of you guys. That's why they voted it. That's why most of the Democrats flipped over to the Republican side to vote, even though they didn't really believe in Donald Trump. It was all God's plan to bring in Donald Trump. As she continues, to, to be smart and strong and not reckless in how we protect the American people, strong in how we protect our economy. Yeah, right. We know how you protected our economy. We know how you destroyed it. And so there's the tweet. And moving on, the last bit of news is Trump will tweet less on one condition. <laughs> This is funny. Trump tweeted he would tweet less if the press would cover him accurately and honorably. If the press would cover me accurately and honorably, I would have far less reason to tweet. Sadly, I don't know if that will ever happen. And here is the actual tweet um, right here on Twitter. And guess who replied? Me. <laughs> I said, I said, Donald Trump first. I said, I make videos about you all the time, Mr. Trump. Take out the kingpin Soros, then watch the MSM, mainstream media, change. I also said, Donald Trump, America's hero and anointed by God. If God be for us, who can be against us? Uh, let's do a, a, let's reload and see what, oh, I'm still the only one who said anything. So, there you go. Well, anyway. That'll be all for this report, and I uh, want to thank you for listening. God bless you.